Praise God. Glory to Dios. This is Evangelist Michael Fernandez. If you want to be a part of our ministry and the adventures, the things we're doing, great things for God to bring the good news. If you want to be part of this ministry, go to my website and hablalos in the name of Jesus Christ. Dios le bendiga. Praise God. This is Evangelist Michael Fernandez. I'm excited. God is awesome. He's doing great things this year, 2014. I believe God's going to do great things. And, and we're out here to tell people Jesus loves you and he could set you free. Praise be to God. And today we have an awesome guest today, Brother uh, John Fields, Pastor John Fields from Shalom First Baptist Church. Correct? Missionary Baptist Church. I'm sorry. Go ahead, brother. I'm very glad to uh, be able to join you today. Uh, I'm very honored to be a part of uh, the, this presentation. Uh, we at the First Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church, which is 123 years old, that church started underneath a brush arbor. Uh, I've been there six years. Uh, that church will celebrate uh, 123 years of service to the community. Uh, on March, in March. Praise the Lord. Uh, the church itself has, uh, we're trying to do great things for the Lord and we believe at that church that by developing relationships, by partnering with other people who are in the faith who are trying to move forward to do great things for the Lord, by working together, we can be a blessing to the community and we can grow the church family. I believe that the church is no better than the community. If the community is well, then the church can be well. If the community gets healthy, then the church gets healthy. Praise if the, the community is sick, then the church is sick. There are a lot of suffering churches in the Fifth Ward area because uh, there is a disconnect between community and church. And at the First Shallow Church, we're trying to reestablish that connect. And so we have partnered with uh, one in particular with the Lakewood Church. Uh, we have what we call a Christmas in August. Uh -huh. And on last year, we were very blessed to partner with the Lakewood Church, and we were able to hand out 100 and 200, to 200 backpacks to bless children Praise going God. back to school. And we, to see the expression, to see the smiles on the children's face, to know that they were blessed, to see the joy in the parents, knowing that their child had, had been blessed by a backpack. Something simple, but Amen. something very big. Uh, and so uh, I'm very appreciative for the, the effort on the part of uh, John Bowman and Steve Austin in connecting with us, allowing us to help us to do that. Uh, it was truly a great blessing. We are planning a health fair. Praise the Lord. Uh, for that, to connect to the community in March, on March the 8th, that uh, health fair will reach out. We'll do uh, blood pressure, we'll do weight, we'll do, we'll have seminars, we'll have, uh, we're partnered with the NAACP, uh, CVS, Walmart, uh, some other institutions to help bring that together. Uh, we expect that to be a great uh, outreach to the community. We're just about trying to touch the community because as I say, when the community is well, then the church is well. Praise the okay. Lord. We've, we've partnered also with Target Hunger, trying to uh, grow a community garden. And uh, this, uh, uh, our garden is just getting off the ground. Uh, so we're doing a number of things, trying to reach the community, trying to make uh, wholeness in the community. And it, when you can reach people's need, the needs of people, right. then uh, they can hear the word. Amen. Uh, Amen. We've got a program called Youth Freedom Institute that we've, uh, it's a 501c3 uh, nonprofit group. And in that program, we, we've got things that we do throughout the year, trying to touch children uh, and open their awareness and their, raise their level of consciousness about who Jesus is. We, uh, we have a summer camp that lasts the months of June and July the entire month of June and July. Mm -hmm. It has no cost to the children. We ask the parents to pay a registration fee, but beyond that, we partner with the city of Houston. We partner with uh, other groups to try to, uh, try to enrich the children because we believe that children are no better 
than their exposure and their experiences. Praise the Lord. And so we've had the, uh, the, the blessing of being able to expose them to things that they have never experienced before. Uh, we've taken children to Austin, to the state capitol. They've been able to meet House uh, representative, uh, uh, representatives, state representatives. Uh, it's just been a blessing. Praise the Lord. Okay. Uh, Pastor, uh, um, lately you've been seeing a hunger in the people. They want to see more of God's manifestation of love to win souls in the kingdom of God. And, and I could see you, you're attacking, the com going to the community. You're reaching out, not only preaching to them, you're helping them in their needs like the backpacks. Mm -hmm. You know, some people, you could preach about Jesus, but if you have the means of helping them in their surroundment, you know, in the community, like for the children, the, the pack backs, you say Lakewood Church has gotten involved in helping mm -hmm. with you and work, teaming up with you in the Fifth Ward. Uh, that is exciting. And mm -hmm. thank God for uh, the Pastor Joe Osteen and Brother John Bowman, Steve Austin, that, that had touched their hearts to work with you and it's exciting the 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 great things you're going to you're doing and you're planning to do take the city for Jesus and get other areas also yourself and um, are you getting a lot of response from the community since you've been doing this the community is 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 aware i think there's a awareness that's coming over the community that the First Shallow Missionary Baptist Church is a church that cares, right? a, a, church, a church that's concerned, a church that's genuine, uh, because we're doing, you can preach all day long, right? Uh, but people need to be able to feel, feel the work of, uh, right. of Christ. And yes. until, until you start to reach them and reach their needs, right. then uh, they, they really don't hear you. Right, right. Okay? <laughs> you, you come know. down to their level. Yeah. Oh, my kid needs school supplies. Yeah. What are y'all doing? Y'all telling me about Jesus. Yeah. Uh, even Jesus fed the thousands of the loaf yeah. of bread and fish. But you, what y'all doing, you're going out with the backpacks. Yeah. And you're getting them right there in their home. Helping we, do, them. we do the backpacks. We, we're we developing a, a ministry where we feed children, we do, uh, where we feed uh, the, those who are in need. We try to reach out across and just meet needs of people uh, from clothes, food, shoes. Praise uh, the Lord. If they need directions in terms of how to handle a situation. Because a lot of people have problems that uh, they simp they're simple problems to people who, who've gone through uh, college, who's got college educations and, and various degrees. But for people who are just basic, ordinary people, some things are very challenging to them, and we try to deal with those issues so that they can understand and know, hey, somebody really cares. Praise the Lord. Have you had other churches uh, in the community who got team up other than Lakewood? Um, we, try, we try to involve other churches in our work uh, through a number of ways. We, we do a, uh, a revival in February, uh -huh. and in that revival, we try to engage other church and other pastors in terms of spreading the word and sharing. We also do, uh, do an effort on Good Friday where we try to do either the last seven sayings of Calvary or we do the six miracles of Calvary. So okay. other churches so get involved. We try to get, we, we try to engage them from a number, number of perspectives. We, we try to engage them because we connect with a, what we call a Fifth Sunday Mission Fellowship uh, of other churches in the neighborhood. So we, we're always trying to look and see how we can engage and connect with other people because it's, the work is great and the work of Jesus Christ is bigger than any one church body. Uh, it is when we come together and start to work together as the body of Christ that we're able to do a greater work. And so we believe as we as we partner with other and develop other relationships, uh, we become a greater blessing to the community and to the work of Christ. And is in that scripture, it says the three cords is hard to be broken. Three cords are hard to be broken. Amen. Yeah, See, yeah. one could catch out a thousand, but two yeah. 
10,000. 10, yeah. Amen. So you take in the word of God and put it into work and get in the people and say, the body of Christ could do this together. It, the hand cannot say to the feet, I don't need you. We Together we can make a difference in our community. They, let the light shine before the world. And you're doing it by getting involved. Praise God. Every part of the body. Yes. Every part of the body is essential. Yes. Uh, the hands, the feet. Yes. Uh, Praise uh, the Lord. The ears, the mouth. Yes, yes. Uh, every part of the body is essential. Praise the Lord. And it's exciting that you and your church is really reaching out to the community. And, and, uh, and if you would like to get involved, please call Pastor John Fields. And tell them how can they get a hold of you? They can reach they can reach me through the First Shallow Church. We're located at 4420 Lions Avenue, Houston, Texas, uh, 77020, uh, 713-673-672, I'm sorry, 7351. Uh, we are available around the clock, 24 hours 7. Praise the Lord. Okay. And uh, just recently you just had a meeting uh, a few weeks ago, and you had a packed house. We're doing we're doing all kinds of things. Uh, we're we're a senior church. The church, like I said, is 123 years old. So there are a lot of we have a lot of seniors in our church. Uh -huh. uh, we had recently a, uh, a a preliminary health screening. We did blood pressure and weight, and we had a lot of people come in from the community. Uh, we got a facility next door. We had some 60 to 70 uh, people come in uh, just to have their weight from that facility alone, uh, and that was a blessing. We had a cooking demonstration of healthy eating on site. Uh, we had some chefs come in, uh, oh, really? and they, they did some demonstration of how to make prepare food in such a way that it's much more healthy eating than the normal preparation of food. Uh, so we're we're doing a lot of things, and and I've I've engaged uh, been engaged to serve with uh, the American Leadership Forum, uh, the uh, Houston Gulf Coast uh, chapter. It's a community development class, uh, just to partner with other people in our community who are in leadership positions to um, to look at the possibilities of how we can transform the community. Okay. Praise God. Uh, People, the mind of people, they have to be transformed mm -hmm. to understand that they can do better, Praise they can God. have better, uh, and it's available to them. They don't have to stay in their predicament. They can better themselves. They and can better themselves. Yes, yeah. that is awesome. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. And, and what is your plan for 2014? Uh, share something that your goal and your vision I know you're doing a lot right now, your church. Well, let me just tell you, we're very excited at the First Shiloh Church because uh, just as recently as yesterday, we had been working on uh, trying to move our church into historical status, okay? okay. And our church was approved as a, uh, uh, as a state historical site uh, just as recently as on yesterday. We had been working on this for over, over a year, and we we're just very blessed of God to have that happen. We, uh, we're working to uh, engage more, more churches and bring, create a camaraderie of churches uh, because there's sometimes there's bitterness and there's envy and jealousy that sits in uh, from one church to another. And we want to rid the community of that and let, just let the people know that it's all about God. Amen. Okay. Can you imagine there? There's so many people in this community and in this area in Houston, millions that we don't have to fight for the members. There's so many you won't be able to occupy it in your church, yeah. and you're going to have to probably make your church bigger, built it to make it bigger to occupy the people. There's so many souls out there that are lost, and I guess like you say, unite together, put our differences to the side, and name tags and. And began to, because we all have this common ground that Jesus Christ is Lord. And it's only through him that you could enter the kingdom of God. And, and I believe that is through Jesus, our Savior. 
and in acknowledgement that through him and confessing him as Lord and Savior, one can be set free and delivered. And praise the Lord. Do y'all have any dealings with uh, uh, people who are involved in drugs or rehabilitation? Or are y'all planning to do get involved in stuff like that? We, we already have a, a, a program within our church where uh, we try to minister okay. to people who... Uh, because we have people in our church who are ex-drug addicts. Right. They're ex-prostitutes. Oh, uh, we've that. got people who who can who can put a period uh, and uh-huh. Uh-huh. and say, "I used to, I was, uh, but I've got a new life." Okay. I've Praise got a new God. Lifestyle. Praise the and, Lord. And uh, this is very important because the truth of the matter is, everybody is an ex-something. Oh yes. Okay. Turn that because, X becomes a cross. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> it's so wonderful. See, yeah. when you see that period, is see, I was. Like yeah. Paul says in 1 Corinthians uh, 6, verse 9, he says, Adulterers and fornicators and homosexuals will not enter the kingdom. But you were like that, mm-hmm. but God has delivered mm-hmm. you from that. Mm-hmm. So there is hope. That yeah. Remember that Paul said there's hope. In other words, basically... He delivered the people in Corinthians who were living in that kind of lifestyle. That there's power in that blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, that if you call upon his name, thou shall be saved. Praise God. That's yeah. exciting. So you yeah. are tackling the, the community problems and offering help to the community. And once again, invite the, the, uh, the people, the community, to call you and if they have any questions or email you to go to your website. Again, we're located at 4420 Lions Avenue, the first shallow missionary Baptist church. We believe that uh, Jesus is available to everybody. We believe we have a theme this year that says faith that produces fruit. Last year we came through uh, a period of trials and tribulation, uh, but we believe that uh, uh, faith is available to all. First Shallow Missionary Baptist Church, 4420 Alliance Avenue, 713-672-7351. We, 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 we've got the door open. The sign says welcome. And the light is on. We're waiting for you. Praise God. Come on. All is welcome. Praise the Lord. And you have a lot of people there have been there for years. There are some faithful members there. I've got, I've got in my congregation, I've got one of the oldest people in Houston who's a part of my congregation. Uh, My oldest member is 109 years old. Wow. (laughs) Doing my ministry, I've had, I've walked the aisle, meaning I've, we've had uh, home going celebrations for four members who are 100 plus years old. Wow. Okay. At one time, I had as many as three to four hundred plus year old members. And I think that's a that's a brag patch that few can praise few can the claim. Lord. Yeah, and they and what do they say? And they're just praise God, and yeah. they're active in the church. And they're active in the church, and they they uh, they tell their story. They tell their story. They tell oh, their story. They go yeah. back and tell the story. They tell their story. There's testimony. Yeah, they tell their story. <laughs> I sat uh, with my 109 year old member just a few days ago, and she was telling me about how she drove a streetcar. Uh, in San Francisco and how uh, President Roosevelt uh, said he was going to get the ladies out of the kitchen and how when jeans first came out and just the stories are just mind-boggling. I You're mean, kidding. When the yeah. jeans, the clothing? When the, the clothing, when they, when women first started wearing jeans back oh. in the 40s. And oh, really? <laughs> yes, it was uh, the stories that they have to tell. Oh. They, they just really uh, make you stop in your tracks. Wow, okay. just hearing his, he's not reading a book, hearing the book, alive, yeah. Yeah. a person who was there and met the president. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they, feel, they, feel, they feel my, my energy, they give me energy, they fuel, my, fuel me, and uh, so when I, sometimes I'm writing an article for a newspaper, uh, and when I'm writing, I'm, I'm thinking about things they've said, and that's just, it's really a blessing. <laughs> Yeah, you, you have no idea how blessed uh, to be able to sit and talk with someone who's clothed in their right mind, who's 100 plus years old. Clothed in their right mind. Yeah. 
Oh, praise God. That, yeah. That's what you call the saints yeah. of the old. And they're yeah. still here on earth. Yeah. Praise the Lord. It's still announcing that Jesus yeah. is real and he is God. Oh, that's so wonderful. It says, people say, well, my grandma used to do this. My grandpa used to do this. Well, you got those those members in your church. They're here to say and testify this hundred years that Jesus is still alive. In those hundred years of the time, Jesus was a miracle powerful of God then, was able to save people then, and he's still saving them now. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's still Jesus, in the oh, for He's the same today and forever. And He's still in the healing. Oh, praise yeah. the Lord. Oh, well, it just, I just want to thank you, Jesus, and bless the hearts of people listening to this program just to hear what the brothers said. They're uh, members of this church, 100 years old, could testify, testify that Jesus is still alive. And he's able to set you free and able to heal you from any disease. I don't care what problem you have. Call upon that name of Jesus. Oh, brother, you don't know how that touched me to hear what you said about those members. There are live testimonies. Yes, Jesus is real. And he's still alive then and he's still alive now. Praise be to God. And brother... Uh, Tell us uh, the miracles I know God is fixing is doing in your church, and and I know God's fixing to do more in your church, and and more souls to come in, and and uh, tell me another thing about the uh, the church uh, vision, uh, 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 the the heart, what you feel, your compassion toward the loss how you feel about these last days, things are happening, laws of changing. And, and, and as you're a pastor, the things you have to run into, and confrontations because you have to stand up for the core belief of the gospel, how people try to change that, that we can't leave our core belief, that the only way to heaven is through Jesus. We need to, we need to be be sure that we are, uh, as my dad used to say, who we need to be sure that we are rooted uh -huh. and grounded uh -huh. in the Word of God because there are challenges that uh, are on the forefront. There are challenges that we, have, we see that come to fruition here just in the city of Houston uh, that challenge our faith. And we cannot, as a church, go along just to get along. Oh, yes. Okay. We've got to stand on the Word of God. We've got to understand that God is and He is an is God, uh, uh, not an was God. Right. He, he is, is. He is able. He, uh, he is still the bread of life. He is still water in dry places. Uh, he still has power to heal. Amen. Uh, and we've got to understand that. Uh, and so we, we stand on that uh, given uh, an understanding that there are challenges ahead and we continue to work and we continue to engage uh, the community uh, because there, there are things we want to develop, more programs to be able to reach more people. Uh, we want to enlarge upon our garden uh, so that we can feed more people. Uh, we're just looking for new ways to, ch to reach people. Praise the and Lord. And we feel that uh, it is incumbent upon us. Praise the Lord. Okay. Praise God. As a body of Christ. Amen. To do more. Praise God. We've got a few more minutes to invite the, the audience once again to call and how to get in touch with you, brother. Again, uh, First Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church, we're located at 4420 Lions Avenue in the heart of Fifth Ward. The church... Uh, is 123 years old, started underneath the Brush Arbor. Uh, we can be reached by phone, 713-672-7351. Praise the Lord. This is Evangelist Michael Fernandez. If you have not accepted Jesus, just call upon him. If you have not made that decision, today is the day of salvation. Say, Jesus, forgive me of all my sins. Come in my heart. And be the Lord of my life. I confess Jesus is my Lord and Savior. 
And if you're sick, lay your hands on your body and receive the healing that God has already provided at the cross in the name of Jesus. And receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. We're looking forward to hear from you. Please get involved and call Pastor John Fields. He'll be waiting on you to call on him. And if any prayer requests, you call him and he will pray for you. And God bless you. Looking forward to see you next week. God bless you. Evangelist Michael Fernandez. Hallelujah. Brother. <laughs> bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Gloria a Dios. This is Evangelist Michael Fernandez. If you want to be a part of our ministry in the ventures, the things we're doing, great things for God to bring the good news. Si quieres ser parte de ese ministerio, vas a mi website en Háblalos en el nombre de Jesucristo. Dios le bendiga.